What is happening, champions? Wargaming is announcing its 15th anniversary, and they're doing it with a big event, and I am just loving the shit out of it. It is a great event. Um, I'm having tons of fun. I've pumped out replay after replay. I'm going to be putting them up for you guys, especially replays of this. The VK3601H. Oh, yeah. I love this tank. It is up there with the Stug as one of my favorite tanks in the game. That's right. This and the Stug are two out. of my favorite tanks in the game. And I just love playing it. I really do. Got the camo and I've got Hunter written on the back there. Doubles is the name. Hunter. My favorite tank. Oh, this thing is just great. Alright, so let's get right into it. As I said before, this is the event. So everybody who's anybody is using premium right now because it's discounted and... You know, it just it just ensures that you're gonna get through the um, armor of the tanks. I mean, it, you know, I hate it. I hate premium a lot. I really do. I'm not the hugest fan of premium. I mean, the, it's useful in a pinch, and I don't think you really should lead with it. I would prefer if it wasn't in the game, but right now during this event where it's so cheap, everybody's using it. So we'll start off with premium, even though it's a tier six match, and just try to enjoy ourselves. And we do. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to ruin it for you. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a good match. I have a lot of fun in it. Let's see here. Let's see if we can see anything. Okay, we got a VK31P over here. Let's see if we can uh, get some flanking shots on him. And remember, I mean, everybody's using premium, but still, you need to keep that armor angled. Trying to hit him in the engine. Went a little uh, right and low. He backs up. Get into a better position with more cover. And a mountain to angle myself behind. Let's see if we can see anything. Ah, that one went way low. That was a complete miss. Um. As I was saying, I know, this was one of the matches where I got into, and not not everybody was using premium, and you know it's it's kind of foolish because you know everybody's going to be using it on an event, uh, and you you should use it. I'm you know I'm I'm not going to tell you to go out there and load up your your tank completely with premium ammo because then there's going to be those situations where you don't actually make a profit. But as of right now, I mean. Get, get a stock of premium ammo, uh, try it out, test it out. Don't become dependent on it because you're not always going to have it. And just have a good time. I mean, it's an event. Have fun. It's a game. Have fun. <laughs> Go for it. Oh, he's actually facing me, strangely enough. I thought I'd be coming up on his, uh, his butt. But looked like he, was, uh, he knew I was coming. Yeah, he bounced off of me, but that I had some very superior angling there, and he hit the most armored portion of my tank. So, I that could have been a legit bounce. Um, he even could have been using premium. Let's see here, VK3601H. I'm still trying to aim for that engine. Oh, really? Two percent? Oh, he hit my track. That's okay. Boom! Take him out of play. I'm not gonna use my repair tr kit on my tracks because I'm not really in any danger right now. I realize there's two tanks behind me, but they're both concerned with the light that's also behind me. AT8, let's help out with this guy. Ooh, that was a bad bounce. Come on. There we go, right in the back, right in the engine. And he's tracked. Let's see what we can do. There we go. Now we're getting through. Side is still a very viable target. Perfect. Take him out of play. Let's move up. I do miss the traditional sniping spots on fjords. I, I, I don't know if I'm a huge fan of the new way they modeled this map after 8.6, but, you know, it's still a fun map to play on. It really is. Um, but I felt like it was funner back then. There we go. Take a Jagdpanzer IV out of here. Four kills. Got an AMX-40. Can we get him? Sneak up behind him. Boom. Take him out of play. Five kills. 
How many more kills can we get? How much more fun can we have? Pull up into their cap. I'm not going to start capping. That's... I know a lot of people at this point would start capping, but I've got two good flanking shots on. Look at that. I, if I can get around in time, I can I can wreck that Panzer 3-4, and I think the KV-1 is actually down uh, on the heavy tank corner, but yeah, yeah, he's or he's past it now. He's in the town, but I can definitely get some flanking shots on these guys, the Dicker Max and the Panzer 3-4, um, if they don't realize that I'm coming, uh, and that's probably because somebody went into the cap circle and they saw that. Go for the weaker guy. Take him out. There we go. Seven kills. Oh, this is quite a comedy moment. So I put a shot into him. Back up. Watch this. He gets hit. He's on fire. Rams himself to death on me. Hey, thanks for the uh, Radley Walters medal. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Yep, the VK3601H. Another great match. I uh, got myself a Radley Walters for that one. And you will see it in the after battle results. Enemy base captured 100%. Hunter, oh yeah, and I'm going to have a ton, a ton of uh, videos for you guys lined up with this tank because I have just been having so much fun in it. Uh, interesting to note, I didn't take any actual damage in that match. Um, I did have two penetrations on my turret, as you can see, but that's all gun mantle. I mean, look at that. That's just thick armor right there. They basically went in and just stuck. They didn't do any damage. So yeah, this tank is really well armored for its tier. Uh, let's go to the after battle results screen. All right, so there was another great match in the VK3601H, and that one was with the 8.8 .8 gun. So I, you know, it's it's just down to user, uh, really. It's whether you want to use the Konish gun or the 8.8 .8 gun with the uh, Grossturm turret. It, it, you know, it's down to you. Do whatever you want. I will say that I haven't gotten a Radley Walters in the Konish gun yet, but I really haven't gotten into many situations like that one. Um, as you can see, here's the, uh, the uh, Wargaming's 15th anniversary special, so everything is a lot cheaper. That's why I was using premium right off the bat, and boom, that was my very first victory of the day. Uh, one of the first matches I had today, and it went very well for me, so yeah. Um, let's take a look at it. 88,472 credits earned, Reaper medal, Radley Walters medal, Top Gun, 3,668 experience, doubled. Um, for the first victory of the day. For the VK31P, we knocked out his engine, destroyed his engine. 3601H, knocked out his turret. And the AMX40, we destroyed his engine and his track, and we also ninja'd that kill. But hey, I'm not going to complain. I got a Radley Walters medal out of that one. Great match, very fun. Um, 2,412 damage dealt. Uh, 1,223 experience earned with two battle merits, eight kills, and 17 shots fired, 16 direct hits, 15 penetrations, 2,412 damage done, six hits received, one of them penetrated, um, non-penetrations were five, and the potential damage I received was 1,070 with only 850 hit points, so I would have died had that happened. Uh, a huge ammo cost but for the event um, and for the discount on premium ammo I actually made a huge profit 58,072 credits that is awesome uh, and that's just the kind of fun I'm gonna be having this entire event this 2 million is gonna be soaring up to uh, new heights unless I'm buying new tanks which I think I'm going to uh, definitely on my way to get the uh, Yag Panther so I might spend some money. Anyway, great match in the VK3601H. If you like the video, leave me a like. And if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Take it easy, gents.